What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Cut. Welcome to the vlog, dog. KT gang, what's happening? Let's get it, man. We back in the kitchen tonight doing a ground turkey meatloaf. We got the baby carrots jumping off. We doing some potatoes. Those are idols, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got my green peppers, bell pepper out. I got me some onions out. And I got all my fine seasons that I'll be using, you know, to make this what it is, you know, the best this available you know what i mean for the night so that's what we're doing that's how it's going down cuts kitchen y'all stay tuned all right Alright y'all, welcome back to the vlog, Doug. Just tuning in, man. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, alright? Doing that turkey meatloaf today. That's what we got going, man. Throwing my breadcrumbs in here. What not? You see, I got my green peppers and my onions chopped nicely up in here, so. Why do it smell good already? Because <laughs> I'm in here cooking. Okay, what did you preheat your oven to? Oh, uh, 400. Oh, 400. Well, yeah. That's what mostly what we do for a meal. Yeah, I set my oven for 400 temperature. That's what we're doing, all right? And um, I use two pieces of bread. That's you're normally good enough, you know what I mean? If you ain't got bread, you can use crackers. But uh, I would not recommend you use those Ritz crackers because it will not come out right. Trust me when I tell you, I've been there. It's not the right rubber takes. So. You want to go an alternative if you don't have any bread. That is. All right. Keep the legs cracked real proper like. I wash my hands off. And get a nice stir on that. And then I got all my seasons over here, which y'all can see. Gotta have the relish. This is very low to the bottom, so we probably gonna use all the rest of this because I got three pounds of turkey in here, all right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and just dump that. I don't waste no time, it's going in there. This is one of my key ingredients for my meatloaf. It's a must have. Another thing that I normally must have is my diced tomatoes, which I don't have none tonight. I didn't realize it the last minute, so guess what? We won't be having no diced tomatoes tonight. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to go without it tonight, Jack. He brought it. I won't be going back to the store right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get us a nice stir first. Make sure those eggs get all up in there in that mixture. You want to take your time with it. It's okay. You ain't got to rush this process because you don't want the eggs and stuff flying all in your direction, getting all over the floor and stuff. So, I like using turkey you now for your meatloaf tea because you know with the ground beef it was so heavy with the grease. Yeah. I just don't like the way I feel when I eat too much ground beef. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just make your insides feel all clogged. Y'all comment down below if y'all can relate. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just that full, too full feeling. Even when I wake up the next morning, it's still like sitting on my chest. It's like, oh nah, oh hell nah, can't have that. So, gotta get a little light. Even though I love some burgers now, I'll be the first to tell you. I five a burger in a minute. Or some hot dogs. I love some grilled hot dogs too. If I can't get them grilled outside, I grill it in the house. <laughs> Put some grease on that joint or some butter or something. Make it happen, Captain. Kendrick, stop me about whole No, we recording. Back back there talking about here. Right, that's pretty it. good, Dad. Just want to get a nice little mix on it, you know. Make sure everything is coinciding. Right now I got it to where I want it. When my wrist start hurting a little bit, that's when I know I got it right. So just in case you need to know how long you need to stir, that's about a good idea. She'll be alright a few minutes. She'll be alright. Baby cop. Mommy come get you in a minute, mama. Keep on whining, I'm gonna have to call her baby cop. That's C-R-Y. Y'all, she teething right now, so. Baby cry, baby cry. <laughs> now, let me stop teasing my little. Yeah, them teeth starting to come in now. We see one on the bottom now for me, so. That's the reason, guys. Alright, yeah, um. Now we know the turkey is very bland, so we want to season this up. You can't be uh, afraid to get down with the get down on this, all right? So we're gonna put some on there in the bowl, and then we're gonna sprinkle some on the top of there when we get it inside the pan. So there we go. Let's pep on there. Um, see that minced garlic? You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to have that. So good. With you. Need that. Need that in your life. You don't need too much of it. Just depends on your. You know, you're liking, you know, but we're going to sprinkle just a little bit more in there since we got three, um, three whole pounds of meat here. I love minced garlic. Comment down below if y'all like minced garlic. Yeah, y'all comment down below. Yeah, if y'all use it and what recipes do you use it for? All right, so we got that. We're going to go in with some onion powder. Yeah, onion powder. I know we got tons of onion in there, guys, but you can never have enough of that flavor in there. <laughs> I'm going to save the flavor, so go in with it. Like I said, don't be afraid. This is not salt, so. All right, that's that. Got my dash. No, it wouldn't be right if I ain't had a dash in the cut, so there we go. And get right. Kind of a baby. Okay. What else I didn't put, okay. Put some Italian seasoning in there. Oh, it ain't open yet. Fresh batch. I thought we had one already open. Okay. Anyway, all right, yeah, we're gonna go in with that Italian. Sprinkle some of that on that jack. All right. And then we got the seasoned salt. All right. Now we're not gonna go too heavy with the seasoned salt because I want to put some garlic uh, salt on there, so we're not gonna do too much seasoned salt. Alright, that's good for that. Now we're gonna put this up because we won't be using that again for the rest of the night. 
and then um, after that, I'm going to put a, another little stir on that, so we can kind of connect the dots here. Crazy. Really it looks it. like tuna again. They do kind of don't. Mm. That's because it's turkey. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have that same. It definitely ain't gonna taste like no tuna though. Yeah, it doesn't. All right, and at this point, guys, we pretty much got it where I want to be. So we can go ahead and put it in the pan. Get to it. So let's go ahead and form this meatloaf here. First thing I'm gonna do is drop it on down. There we go there. We're gonna get all that out of there, all that extra. There we go. Right. Next thing you know, we wanna form it. It's called meat loaf, guys. You wanna make it shaped like a loaf. As if it was bread. So that's what I keep in mind when I'm forming it. Don't be afraid to get your hand dirty. You gotta get down and dirty sometime. You know it's all good. It's a part of the part of it. See I'm shaping going back and forth because I want everything a certain way. I'm gonna mash down on it because I don't want it to be so thick. And I turn it this way so I can hit this side of it. Forming it. See I'm forming that shape. See how I got that? See how your boy doing that thing there? Yeah. yeah. Gotta flatten it again. Get away from it. Can't get away. No, come on. See how that's coming along there? You see that? See how your boy do that? Yeah, you see it. Okay. Like the way that's looking there on that side. What y'all think? Y'all comment down below. Wish y'all methods of um, getting y'all meat shaped as far as making a meatloaf. How do y'all do y'all's? Y'all use a spatula? use your hands you don't shape it to uh, what it looks pretty good to me there I'm bringing it just a little bit what do you think just yeah, a little looks good. Yeah. don't want it stuck to the okay All right, that looks pretty good there. So at this time, we're gonna go ahead and let that rock. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some seasoning on the top and we'll be right back, man. We're gonna throw it in the oven so y'all stay tuned, all right? I'm gonna let this thing go for about an hour. Give it a good hour and then we're gonna take it out, man. We're gonna get, we're gonna get right tonight, all right? This is how it's going down, man. Friday night, Cuts Kitchen, man. King and T Gang, stay tuned, let's get it. All right, y'all, welcome back to the vlog, man. Uh, I already went on and done the liberty of um, Cut my potatoes up, as you can see right there. I got them boiling, and we need to wait. So, got those in there. I got some Italian seasoning in there. I got my dash. I got some pepper in there, and I got some butter in there. All right. And as far as my carrots over here, got some butter in there. Sprinkle like a spoonful of sugar. I say like a tablespoon full of sugar. I put on there, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Keep it simple with the carrots, all right? All right, y'all. Uh, about 40 minutes in on this entree or what have you so at this time I like to go ahead and put my ketchup on there all right Soak it in there. 
once we get that nice and done the way we want it, we're gonna throw it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. I feel like we can go for just a little bit more on that. Won't hurt it. Alright y'all, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw it back in the oven. We'll be back at y'all in 20 minutes, 20 minutes, alright? Alright y'all, the moment y'all been waiting for finally arrived, man. Check it out. It's a nice glimpse for that, man. That's what we doing, man. Turkey meatloaf. We got the Idaho potatoes with my sharp cheddar on there. And then we also got those carrots, the baby carrots or whatever. Nice and sweet. That's how it's going down tonight, man. Cuts Kitchen, man. Y'all stay tuned for more, all right? And the uh, shout out tonight goes to... Um, Precious Cargo. Yeah, shout out to Precious Cargo. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, King and T gang, <laughs> she repping that and all that. She got a notification. She really on. do, yeah. If you want to get a shout out from us, make sure you got your notifications. Hit that bell. They got to be all the way on. You know yep. what I mean? Turn and she nice. was the first person to comment on our new intro that's that right. we uh, released today. That's right, you know what I mean? So that's shout out to you, girl. Shout Precious you, Cargo. You know I mean? Thanks for supporting, you know what I mean? Word. All right. We out of here, man. It's time to bust a grill, man. Give him one more good look. We get a thumbnail or what? Are we All right. Off it's that, okay. Right? I'm about to take a picture of that plate. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right we out, y'all. All right.